back to my channel so i'm super excited for today's video just because i am going to test out this new skincare brand and some of their products so i got this all products on pr and i'm going to be testing this out and if you're new to my channel i hope you enjoy the video and i hope you like it and if you want to see more content from me definitely hit that subscribe button down below and click on the notification bell as well since you'll get notified of all my future videos as soon as i post them anyways let's get started so i got sent in pr um these three things from rosen uh skincare i think that's how you pronounce it um so just by looking at their packaging and all of the products the packaging is very aesthetically pleasing very minimalist and they also use very less ingredients and very good ingredients in their skincare products so they did send all of these products on npr so but that doesn't mean that i'm going to be biased and honestly it's just a first impression and i feel like um in skincare videos and all first impression doesn't really matter i'm just going to test this out for one month and i'm going to put on an update updated review as well so this is not definitely not going to be a review of this brand but it's just going to be me testing out this product for the first time with you guys so i have some makeup on right now very minimal makeup i just put on a baby cream some lipstick and blush um so for, i'm going to test out this cleanser first so this is the rosen um earth cleanser and the packaging again it's so beautiful i love this uh, green shade this pastel green i am in love with this shade so much and honestly the, just by looking at the packaging i am automatically drawn to this skincare brand so much um so yeah um this is such a big bottle and this one retails for $28 so it's not really inexpensive by any means but um also the ingredients are i'm just going to talk about a little bit about ingredients then i'm going to test it out the ingredients they have is niacinamide zinc oxide but they also have sodium laureate sulfate which is SLS and actually that is a very drying ingredient so if you have dry skin um this is the third ingredient and that's the only thing i don't like about this cleanser is that it has SLS but if you don't have uh dry skin you can definitely use it it tends to dry out my skin a little bit since i have dry skin but um just by looking at the ingredients it has eucalyptus oil it has niacinamide it has fuller earth's clay which is very good uh to extract all the oils and at this one just by looking at the ingredients it looks like it's going to be very good for acne prone skin or oily skin so if you have oily or acne prone skin i can tell you that this one is going to be good for you uh so let's just test it out i still haven't opened the packaging of this so i'm going to open it up the texture is very creamy i feel like uh, i'm super excited to try this out so i'll take a little bit of this here I don't know how much I need so I'm just taking a little bit. You can see the texture is very runny and very liquidy. So I'm going to just This smells a lot minty. major thing i noticed is that it doesn't become foamy like it's not becoming a foam kind of a soap kind of a thing it's just like me massaging a very liquid cream onto my face it feels like that so after cleansing my face with water i feel like uh this doesn't dry out my skin i was thinking this was going to dry out my skin like many harsh cleanser because this has sls and sls tends to dry out my skin but this one didn't at all the only thing i noticed is that it has a lot of minty kind of a scent to it so if you have sensitive skin 
or if you don't like that minty kind of a smell any fragrance to your skincare this one has a lot of uh, minty smell and i think that's because this has peppermint oil in it so that is where the minty kind of uh, smell comes from so anyway uh, my first time using this product it wasn't that bad i just didn't like the smell that much but other than that it did clean off my makeup uh, and my face does feel fresh so the second product here is this one this is the tingling mud mask again the ingredients here are really really amazing it has bentonite clay which is amazing if you have oily skin or if you have acne prone skin bentonite clay actually really helps to clean out all your pores and all your gunk from your pores and then it has zinc oxide it has castor oil it has tree tree oil but it also has denitrated alcohol which uh, isn't the best ingredient but also it's a wash off treatment you just put this on your face for like 10 minutes or 5 minutes so it's not going to bother that much but still i wish they didn't put denitrated alcohol here anyway this is how the texture looks like it has this gray kind of a texture almost like every other clay mask out there so the ingredients i like is that they don't have a lot of ingredients they have like six to seven ingredients and that's it um the ingredient list is very simple even though i don't like the natural alcohol but yeah the ingredient list is very simple i'm going to put this across my face using a face mask brush this is actually a real techniques brush but i like to use this as a face mask brush actually retails for $18 and this bottle is very very tiny I feel like I wish they uh, increased the quantity here I mean $18 is not bad for a mask but yeah you get a very uh, less quantity but also I feel like this mask is um, something I would apply only on areas where I feel like I have pores or texture um, so this mask, by reading the ingredients, I feel like it's good if you have texture, if you have oily skin, and if you have acne prone skin. So I will uh, wash this mask off after 10 minutes or whenever it dries out. And also, I just wanted to say that uh, this mask has, again, the strong peppermint minty kind of smell. Um, I feel like uh, they have this smell all throughout their skincare. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting that smell in this mask as well. Um, anyway, I will keep this on for about 10 minutes or so. And I will come back when it dries up. So right now my face mask has dried. So it's been 10 minutes and my face mask has dried completely. And this is how it looks after it dries down. It doesn't take a lot of time to dry down. And the scent also, the minty uh, scent is also gone now. So I'm just going to wash this off and I'm going to come back to test out the moisturizer. So right now my skin feels very, very clean and it feels a little bit drying. But honestly, every other clay mask um, I apply, I always feel a little bit drying because I have dry skin and it actually cleans really, really well. So yeah, I feel like my skin is also very, very uh, baby soft. I feel like that. Um, so now I'm going to try out their moisturizer. This one retails for $20. And it, the second ingredient here is niacinamide. And I love niacinamide so much. I already use a niacinamide serum, uh, but I don't have a moisturizer that has niacinamide in it. And the second ingredient here is niacinamide. So this is an amazing moisturizer um, it has sacha inchi as well i don't know how to pronounce that word i think i probably butchered that word i will leave the uh, word somewhere in the screen um, this ingredient is also very helpful 
if you have acne prone skin if you have uh, a lot of texture and it, and it has licorice in it which is a very good ingredient for dry skin so uh, i feel like this moisturizer is going to be um, really really good so by looking at the moisturizer this is how the texture is it's it's not very thick and it's not very runny as well it looks very very creamy kind of a consistency so it has a tea tree oil in it as well so again uh, this moisturizer will be good for acne prone skin I feel like skincare products is targeted towards acne or textured skin and this is how my face look after putting on the moisturizer it is very hydrating I can say that but um, I don't know how the hydration is going to last for how long it's going to last so just by looking at the moisturizer I feel like this is going to be a good one I still don't know it yet I haven't used this that much but just by looking at it the feel of it is very nice but I do have to say that again the mint smell is in this moisturizer as well so I feel like all of their products has this minty kind of a smell the moisturizer doesn't have a lot of scent to it so it's not that much as the cleanser or as the face mask um, I think I can bear this one so this is how my skin looks um, after using all of their products um, and this is a first impression um, all of the opinions on this skincare might change of, over time um, as I use this a lot uh, throughout the month and I'm going to use this one when I feel like I have acne or maybe once or twice a week I'm not going to use this every day since again this is mainly targeted towards oily or acne prone skin and I don't have acne prone skin but I do get texture sometimes here and there and zinc oxide and niacinamide really helps to even out the skin texture so I'm going to use this once or twice a week I'm going to use this uh, tingling mud mask which is not really tingling at all I didn't feel any tingling sensation I did feel a little bit of tightening up but I didn't feel any tingling sensation so I'm going to use the tingling face mask once a week just on this areas where I have a little bit of texture so I'm going to use uh, the face mask only in that area I never use a mud mask or any of such bentonite clay kind of uh, mask all over my face just because I have dry skin and mud mask or clay mask tend to dry out my skin more so I only use in this area mainly and sometimes if I like it I use this on all, all, all over my face but most of the time I just use it in this area and this one I'm going to be putting this as my morning moisturizer I don't feel like this one would work as my night moisturizer because it's not super super dewy I almost like a very oily almost that kind of uh, moisturizer at night so I'm definitely not going to be using this at night but in the morning I think so it's this will act as a good moisturizer also I'm super excited about this moisturizer the most anyway so that was it for my today's video I hope you guys liked it I'll definitely put an updated review uh, on all of these products in the coming month um, hopefully you guys subscribe if you are new if you like my video please give this a thumbs up it helps me out a lot anyways I will see you guys in my next video bye, -bye.